Hello everyone, welcome to part 150 of Laravel 10 series in which we are getting the e-commerce website. So finally we are going to place the COD order, okay, cash on delivery order in this order placement process and uh, in the last video we have seen that we able to create both orders as well as the order and underscore products table. You can see the this is the order underscore products table for storing the products information of the order and this one is the for storing the main information of the order that is the orders table okay so now uh, we are going to place this cash on delivery order after adding the products the user will add the delivery address and user uh, will see if its uh, billing address is correct and will check the grand total and going to place the cash on delivery so first uh, that we are going to handle that is the cash on delivery okay so i am going to open the products controller uh, where we are going to uh, place the order will reach that checkout function okay and here in the post method in which the order details is coming okay so here uh, proceed to place order so one more condition we are going to check here like uh, uh, like we are checking the delivery address count condition uh, like there must be at least one delivery address we will also check there must be at least one delivery address as default okay so there must be one default address as well so the user must select one of the delivery address uh, otherwise uh, uh, we will show the error message to the user so another check we are going to add i'm going to just uh, copy this one and we'll paste it though here only uh, check for default delivery address default delivery address okay so only difference is here we are going to check for the default delivery address delivery address default count we can simply make it like delivery address default count one more condition we are going to add here where is default uh, must be see is default is the column here you can see the is default that we have added few videos back is default must be at least one of the address must be as is default okay uh, is default uh, must be one uh, and count and then we are going to compare it with the zero uh, okay and if it is equal to zero it means uh, there is no uh, address set as default so we will ask the user please select your delivery address okay so this is the condition that we are going to add check for default delivery address uh, so uh, once uh, see in case of zero uh, this one we are going to give uh, else uh, so this condition we are going to add at last because uh, uh, here here we are going to add for this one as uh, we are going to get the delivery address okay so uh, here like I'm going to copy this one once again and here I'm going to paste it here and here I'm going to uh, remove this uh, default count here I'm going to just uh, uh, delivery address is fine delivery address this one is also fine is default is fine and here first two arrays to get the that particular address details to array so that we can get now that particular address so that we can get uh, see here we will check once that whether uh, we able to get this so we are going to debug our uh, code okay one by one step by step we are going to debug as well like if i'm going to place the order we'll click on place order here uh, we must see the delivery address details uh, let's see see please agree to terms and conditions so yeah it is asking us to uh, uh, select this one now click on place order yes we are able to see the delivery address it means that all the conditions are fine uh, we are reaching this place okay so i'm going to command this one and now i'm going to add uh, few other conditions i'm going to add here uh, i'm going to handle the case uh, two of the things i'm going to handle uh, like in the orders table uh, here i'm going to open this structure okay so uh, from this uh, delivery address uh, we able to fetch name see user id we are already getting in auth okay so these details we able to fetch from the delivery address that we have just uh, got it okay a name address city state country pin code okay and mobile and email uh, yeah mobile and email as well from the delivery address we are storing there i will open the delivery address table as well that uh, all the information that we are storing and saving in the products table we need to make sure 
yeah pin code and mobile okay up till mobile we are getting all the delivery address detail and all the details we are going to store here okay so this email is not the delivery address email see email belongs to the user email only okay so here we are just uh, going to add the user email okay uh, so after that uh, shipping charges right now it's zero there is no shipping charges coupon code and amount we are getting in session that we uh, will give order status and payment method we are going to handle now okay order status payment method and payment gateway grand total uh, we will calculate so these things we are going to handle okay so for this uh, see uh, like uh, if uh, like there is we are going to place first of all cod order and for cod order the order status must be new okay and for prepaid orders the order status must be uh, must be pending okay so i'm going to mention in comment as well so that uh, uh, we can remember this uh, uh, next time as well uh, set payment method uh, set payment method as cod and order status as new if cod is selected or i will do it like this if if cod is selected I think that one look more better. Uh, set payment method as COD and order status as new if COD is selected. Okay, and the next condition is uh, I'm going to copy this one. Set payment method as prepaid and order status as pending if uh, if any other method is selected other than cod okay uh, here uh, or or it's uh, simple like uh, otherwise we will set pay payment method as prepaid and order status as pending uh, uh, here set payment method as cod or status as new uh, if cod is selected uh, from if cod is selected from user otherwise uh here set payment method as prepaid and order status as pending okay in all other cases we are going to do as pending okay so right now uh, our order is the cod order so our payment method is cod and order status is new okay so i'm going to add now the conditions uh, if dollar data payment uh, here payment gateway uh, will come instead of uh, uh, here uh, set payment method as or such as if uh, yeah if payment gateway because uh, we are getting from the payment gateway if you remember that we have given there the payment gateway instead of uh, payment method payment gateway here okay so it's the payment gateway so if dollar data payment gateway equal to equal to cod so in this case dollar payment method equal to cod and here order status equal to new else See, in case of or uh, other cases, see only COD, uh, other uh, all cases are prepaid, and here order status is pending. Okay, so fine. Now we will move further to the next step. See, here uh, we are going to fetch the total price for the grand total. Okay, so now we are getting this one order status, payment method, payment gateway. Also, uh, this one we will give and now uh, see grand total uh, for for grand total we are going to fetch the order order total price okay fetch order total price see i'm going to remove this one now this one is not required okay so here we are going to do the that same thing that we are doing there everywhere uh, here 
see this one for each loop we are going to add and here total price initially it is zero and after zero we are going to uh, simply get this uh, this condition I'm going to add inside this okay uh, to get the attribute price and finally we are required to sum up uh, like we are doing here this one okay uh, to get the subtotal so here we will get this total price so see uh, shipping charges are zero so we will uh, see here uh, we are going to get the shipping charges so we will create the function later on uh, once we will integrate the shipping module right now we are going to simply going to add the shipping charges as zero okay and for calculate see calculate grand total and for that uh, we will add here grand total equal to dollar total price that we have just calculated plus shipping charges that is zero right now and minus uh, discount in case the discount is coming session get coupon amount okay so that will be our grand total uh, so finally uh, we are going to uh, going to insert order but before that we are going to put this grand total in session variable to use it later on as well insert grand total in session variable okay we are also going to insert it in session variable session put grand total like this fine and finally we are going to insert order details insert order details so here we are going to add order new order first and now we are going to enter all the columns starting from the beginning user id user id will fetch from auth like this okay so now uh, we are going to uh, get here the name order name don't leave the address name like this go to do like this okay it will save over time address then city state country name address city state country and then pin code mobile email okay so here uh, here we are going to add uh, shipping charges after mobile shipping charges okay shipping charges, shipping charges we are having in one variable shipping charges okay that we have declared earlier and after shipping charges sorry so after shipping charges coupon code and coupon amount coupon code and coupon amount we are getting in session so whatever uh, it is coming we are going to store here we are going to save here session uh, get coupon code after coupon code coupon amount this one also we are getting in session
okay so uh, after that order status order status uh, we are getting we are uh, just uh, uh, getting here okay order status in case of uh, cod order status is new here we are going to give the order status like this okay so after that uh, payment method and payment gateway then payment method uh, payment method also we are getting here then payment gateway payment gateway we are getting from the user whatever user will select dollar data uh, payment gateway and finally we are getting here the grand total that we have just calculated earlier and then we are going to save this one and okay so our insert ordered uh, uh, query is ready so now we are going to work on the orders underscore products query okay so here we require the id as well of uh, order id that we are going to save in the order underscore products table so here we are going to get the order id db get pdo last insert id last insert ID like this so we will get the order id that we are going to save uh, inside uh, for the order underscore products table okay so now we are going to add the for each loop for each we are going to add it like this okay so uh, once again uh, we are having this get card items we are going to use this get card items dollar item here and here inside this we are going to uh, create that dollar card item equal to new orders product so first uh, one is we are going to see uh, orders underscore products table this time first one is the order id that we have just uh, get after saving the order on this one so after that uh, uh, user id that we will get once again from the auth okay like we are getting earlier as well auth user id so after that we are going to have the product id uh, product ID we are going to get uh, uh, from the uh, product details okay so here we are going to create few functions uh, for getting the product details as well as the product SKU as well okay so I'm going to open the product model here we'll see if we have the uh, get product details uh, function I don't think we are having uh, no we don't have uh, so here are two functions I am going to create here uh, public function get product details and this one uh, we are going to get the product details from the product id and here I am going to add it like this dollar get product details equal to product uh, we are id do this color product id uh, first to array so i am going to return the product details so in the same way we also require the attribute details as well okay so here i am going to check the products uh, attribute if we are having the function there uh, no we don't have uh, we can also create the function here as well okay so, so that we can able to uh, use there so uh, the similar kind of function uh, but here the difference is we are going to add here uh, get product attribute details okay get attribute details we are going to make it like 
get attribute details so this attribute uh, we can get from size as well as uh, size as well as product id okay both we are going to use here and uh, see like we are using here get attribute price uh, okay so like this get attribute details as well uh, so uh, yeah i think uh, here it is not required we can create this function there only here we are going to create this similar kind of function uh, yeah we are going to create here uh, get attribute details so that we can get the complete attribute details from these two uh, like we are getting this one uh, here we are going to get the attribute details get attribute details here i'm going to give uh, here the product attribute and i'm going to compare it with the uh, here like we are comparing with the product id as well as the site so same thing we are going to do there so in fact we can take the benefit of this one this one complete this one we are going to uh, enter here okay like this so here we will get the complete attribute details so these two function we are going to call these two function here uh, uh, here i'm going to see first one is get product details dollar get product details uh, from the product get product details and this one uh, we are just required the product id for getting the product details okay so id is we are having all, all already id uh, we are having there dollar item product id and one more that we are going to call that is the get attribute details and here we are going to pass two things one is the product id and another one is the size product size so now we have the complete product and product attribute details now we are going to give here see product uh, id we are already having we can give it like this now after this product code product name product color sorry product code that we are going to get from here product name and product color after that uh, product side as well as the product SKU see this product side uh, we will get from the attribute details and this one as well uh, product SKU as well we will get from the uh, attribute details okay so uh, as well as uh, uh, product price so product price uh, we will not get from here we will uh, create the another function here and that is the uh, get attribute price like uh, we are getting in the checkout uh, file as well this one get attribute price okay so uh, this one also we are going to do it like this and after product color size sku uh, product price will come here here i'm going to call this one get attribute price and here final price of the product so then product quantity after this and that also we are getting uh, from the car and finally we are ready to save the order plus table as well So check once that everything seems to be fine or not. I think uh, this product side is also we are getting from the card. 
here we can see that uh, we have the card table in which the user added the card information so before saving uh, we are getting the details from here so that's why we are using this get card item so that uh, we can save all the card items one by one we will fetch the card item from here and we'll save it in the order underscore products table okay so here we are having the product underscore id and uh, and after this uh, we are not having any other thing only product underscore id is there uh, yeah also we are having here the product size okay we uh, ask the user to select the product size so we are having the product size as well as the quantity uh, so uh, for the product size here i'm going to add this one like item product size yeah product sku we will get from the get attribute details that is fine and final price we will get from the get attribute price that is also fine an item now i think it seems to be fine everything seems to be fine but here at the top we are required to add uh, two more models and one is the order and another one is the orders product okay uh, and one more thing we are going to do uh we are going to add the db begin transaction as well as the db commit okay uh because uh, we are going to use the begin transaction and commit function of laravel to secure the query so that no half query run any time so that the only the full query will run uh see half query will never run like the orders table get created uh see orders uh, we able to add the record in the orders table but not able to insert in the order under underscore products table so this thing will never happen if we, we are going to add the db begin transaction okay so that uh we can i think uh, uh, we must uh, give here only or we can give here uh, yeah we can give here okay because here uh, then there is no other condition so that it will go back big end transaction like this db begin transaction after that this one here after this we are going to add db commit i think it's fine okay so other than this uh, i think there is nothing else required uh, so finally uh, see uh, one more thing we are going to do here like uh, after saving after this one we are going to insert order id in session variable like we are storing the generator earlier in session variable order id as well we are going to put in session variable so that we can use further in thanks page and other places as well if required so finally uh, we are going to run this one and we'll see if we able to insert the data in uh, both our table both orders as well as the orders and products table okay so rest of the tables are going to close orders for products as well as the orders table i'm going to open you can see the tables are empty right now and make sure that we have added the auto increment yes it's there okay so now i'm going to run this command i will go back then we'll run i will refresh once we'll see uh okay so some error seems to be here uh fetch get card item here uh syntax error unexpected token for each uh i'm going to see 543 line okay if we forgot to add semicolon here that's why okay so now see refresh once again yes this time the page is coming correctly okay so we have the delivery address that we have already selected 
the products are coming here billing address is there okay so grand total is 1815 we are going to select the cash on delivery and we'll click uh, we'll accept to terms and condition and we'll click on place order now let's see i think some issue has come up okay let's see what what has happened uh, delivery address okay so i think there is some issue with the variable maybe uh, i'm going to see delivery address uh, here it is so here we are going to copy this one here i have added the delivery address so that is wrong its name is delivery address only okay so now i will go back and we'll try again okay see i'm going to refresh and we'll start once again so i'm going to select the cash on delivery and we'll accept to terms and condition this is the grand total 1815 there are three products okay so let's click on place order now still there is some error and see coupon code cannot be null so there is no coupon information so uh, we must allow the null data uh, to the coupon code as well as the coupon amount okay so here uh, i'm going to uh, give it to null uh, for the coupon code okay right now i'm not going to add any value uh, the coupon amount is it can ask so let's uh, refresh once again and we'll see that if it will ask we can just require to do the control shift r yes it is asking for the coupon amount as well so that also i'm going to keep as null because the coupon information may come or may not come if the customer does not have any coupon then it must accept the null value now we are going to try once again control shift r uh there is another issue so non static method get product details so here uh, we are going to add like static here i forgot so that's why so now once again control shift r this time so i hope this time there no error will come and the details will get no there is still some other error let's see order id or null uh so see there is uh, another error seems to be there i think uh, we need to debug our code we need to see what order id is coming here so uh here i'm going to see here echo we'll see otherwise we will start the process again shift r continue this time okay so the order id is 3 and uh, we are simply saving this order id here uh, so we'll try once again okay so uh, let's see what is happening here my order id here let's see actually the 3 is not going there okay so everything seems to be fine i think we must start the process once again uh, maybe there will no error come okay i'm going to make operation orders uh, as empty i'm going to make both the tables as empty okay now we'll try once again okay uh, here i'm going to select the catch on delivery uh, i'm going to refresh here okay so now uh, i'm going to select the catch on delivery uh, agree to terms and condition we'll click on uh, we'll click on place order oh still the error is coming uh, order id it is saying order id but order id is coming i'm i will fetch here that the order id is coming here or not i'm 
I'm going to see whether the order ID is coming here or not. Ready is coming here. Then why it's not saving? Okay, so I have done one silly mistake here. You can see I have given the card item I in caps and here I have given in small. So this is the silly mistake. Uh, please don't make this mistake at your end. Okay, uh, so see these kind of silly mistakes uh, uh, waste lot of uh, the time, lot of the time. Okay, so now uh, we are going to try. Okay, I hope that this time it will work fine. Control Shift R, click on continue. and i think there is some other error this time product sku undefined array key product sku uh, that uh, uh, getting from the get attribute details uh, so i'm going to check get attribute details here uh, in the product get attribute details uh, from the product id as well as the site uh, we are going to get all the info all the attribute details uh, so here i think only sq is there maybe uh, so that's why i am going to check uh, that uh, uh, product underscore attributes table i think the column name is the sq only sq so that's why this error is coming yes the column name is sku so that's why i'm going to remove product underscore and we'll keep it like this okay so now we're going to uh, do control shift r once again command shift r in mac yes this time it's done okay so now i'm going to check that whether the details have been inserted or not yes it has been done so you can see finally we able to insert the orders details as well as the orders product details there are three products so we able to insert both in orders as well as in the order underscore products table okay so i'm going to do here one thing here i'm going to do order done like this so that we will get the information like this okay so I'm going to first make it empty once again. We'll check once again because the error error last time. Now it must uh, insert without any error. okay orders orders products so here uh, see right now we have three products okay delivery address is selected three products are there now we are going to select the payment method as cod okay agree to terms and condition click on place order and without any error uh, the message comes confirmation come order done okay so now we are going to check first orders table i'm going to see the orders table with id one this time yes we able to uh, get all the complete the order details uh, see here the user id name address city state country uh, delivery details are coming shipping charges are right now zero coupon is not there order status as new 
and payment method at COD okay grand total is 181815 that is the grand total of the order so now we are going to check in the orders underscore products table see there must be three products yes three products all the details of the three products are coming here in the order underscore products table okay so we able to uh, add the order details in the next video we are going to show uh, these order details in the admin panel as well as the user panel okay uh, and uh, we will uh, uh, we will also do uh, uh, so please stay tuned for the next video and that's all for now have a nice time goodbye so uh, for getting these 150 videos are done now and for getting the source code as well as support uh, you just require to uh, join the channel as well as subscribe the channel okay uh, so once again i'm going to tell you that uh, you are just required to uh, open this stack developers channel youtube.com stack developers please open this channel subscribe this channel for all the laravel updates okay so this is the channel uh, please subscribe for all the laravel updates and please join it to get these 150 videos of source code okay uh, you will get the credential you just required to log into the signmakers.in you uh, just after that you will get the uh, get the credential to download the source code okay you just read this website and click on login okay you will log in with the credentials that i will provide you to download uh, the source code okay you will get the complete uh, source code here see here you will get the complete source code so that you will get after completing these 150 video you will get these 150 videos okay and with the complete support so uh so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye